everyone welcome back to another video so today I'm really excited because I'm doing my first cooking video that I know you guys have requested for so long I'm finally starting to make those so before we start with today's video don't forget to give us a thumbs up share comment down below what type of recipes you want me to do for um, future videos or if you like the one that I'm gonna show you today and of course if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe we are the Ganso family my name is Ilse and we would love for you to be part of our family so don't forget um, hit the bell for the post notifications as well so you are notified every time we upload a new video so let's get started <laughs> So for our first video, I wanted to do something that is really delicious, but really simple, really quick to make because, you know, we, a lot of us work or have kids and, you know, we have to do things around the house and sometimes you just don't have a lot of time and, but you still have to make food. So but this recipe is also like those that you don't really have to go to the store and get all the ingredients. You may um, have to go and buy a few, but not everything because everything else is basically things that you may have already. So we're making tuna tacos. So I'll show you the ingredients. I have everything chopped already. That's how I like to do things. Um, every time I'm gonna cook, I like to have everything that needs to be chopped, chopped, everything that needs to be washed, washed, like everything. So that way when I'm cooking, I'm just like putting everything together. So I'll show you guys what you will need, um, everything that I have chopped already and stuff. And then I'll show you step by step how to make them. Okay, you guys, so for our tacos, this is everything you are going to need. Like I said, I already have everything chopped, washed, and um, set up here. So, so I usually get this one right here um, that is in water. I don't like the one that comes in um, oil, <coughs> but that's just my preference. So you guys can get that one if you want, or like I said, any brand. And then we have... Um, what we're going to cook the tuna with is onions and tomato. And now you can add jalapenos as well, but because I can't eat spicy, I don't add it, but obviously you guys can. And then also a little bit of cilantro. Um, this gives it a really nice taste. But of course, if you don't have cilantro already in your house, it's okay if you don't add it. And then these two other things are also like extra. And I just do it whenever I do have these things at home. If I don't have them at home, I don't even worry about them. So it's lettuce. And what I do with this is I put mayo and then a lemon pepper. This, this one right here. So I'll show you guys um, when I make it. It's simple. Two other things, you mix it up. And it's just like a nice topper for your tacos. And of course, because I'm obsessed with avocados, I always have at our house because we all, Miley, Shani, and I love avocados. So we always have um, avocados at the house. So I always, like most of my foods, I'll try to put avocados. And of course, tortillas. Yeah, so. Okay, you guys, so here is my pan. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, coconut oil right here, just so that the onions can cook a little bit. Now, also, this, you know, you can use any oil you guys use. 
Um, this is the one that I use because of my <coughs> my health issues. But obviously, whatever oil you normally use to cook, um, that's the one that you're gonna use. So I'm just gonna do a little spoon like that. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys, these portions are basically gonna be different for you guys depending on how many people you're gonna feed. Um, for us, it's just us three. Right now, I just opened two cans because I think that's gonna be enough. But if I think I need a little bit more, then I'll add a third one. But usually this, um, you don't need a lot. Obviously, like if you have more than three people, I don't know, 10, 12, um, you're gonna use more than two cans. But you have to kind of like, you know, use a little bit and then if you think that's not enough, then you can add more as you go. But for right now, two, uh, it's okay for us, for us three. All right, so, so now I'm gonna do the onions first. Okay, so now my onion is looking pretty, so I'm going to add um, the tomatoes. Okay, so now that everything is mixed and cooked, I'm going to add the tuna. And like I said, I'm going to add these two and if I feel like I need a little bit more, then I'll add a third one. But we'll see. So. Now, for the last part, you're going to add the cilantro and you're going to add depending how much you need. So again, I apologize that I'm not giving you exact measurements, but this is a dish that you kind of have to like eyeball it because it's depending on how much of the ingredients you prefer. Okay, so that's all. I don't add salt or pepper or anything. Everything in here has its own flavor, so I don't need to add anything. So just, we are done with the tuna. Um, okay, so we're done with that. Now I'm gonna show you guys um, the little lettuce thing that I do for, you know, to top the tacos yeah. with. Um, you need your lettuce. And I just chopped it in like squares, little squares, like this. And then you're gonna add mayo. We just usually do this one. This you can buy this one at Costco or Sam's, whichever brand of um, mayo that you have. Obviously, it's not like you have to get this one. And I just do just a little. Spoon, and then I mix it. And then I all I add is this lemon pepper. And I usually do quite a bit because it's really good, it gives it that lemony flavor. Okay, so very simple this is all I do and um, but it really does give the tacos just that extra pop of flavor really good okay guys so now we are gonna do the tacos so what I like to do is I grab um, the tortillas and then I put them in you can use a paper towel or something like this if you have 
and then you microwave them so they get soft we're going to warm them and then right here I have the oil already so as soon as the flour, the tortillas are warm we're going to do the taco so you want to check them and once you go like this and they don't break then they're good so what you want to do is just grab a little bit of your tuna like this and then, like I said, I use a toothpick. So you're gonna close them. And then. I usually do two toothpicks on the sides. Just like this. And. I'll just keep doing a few of them. And then you just want to fry them until they're golden brown. Okay, so this one is ready. See? It's all golden. And then I just place them on a plate with a paper towel. So the rest of the oil can clean, just like this. Okay, so the tacos are done. So now I'm going to prepare them. What I'm going to do is grab your taco. I already took the toothpicks out. And then you're going to open it like this. And then you're going to grab your lettuce right here you're going to add avocado and then like I said before I don't add jalapenos because I can't eat spicy but I try to do salsas for Ismael since he does like it and just add a little bit of spiciness so right there are done and if you guys can see I'll show you in a little bit more so you will give me raza esa de la finiquera de chihuahua de nogales de magdalena saludos pesos amigos ahí de magdalena que no sonora estoy llegando al trabajo cansado y mira con lo que me encuentro ay no más para que se echen un taco de ojo eh Bueno, pues estos, ahí como lo ven, mira, está para chuparse los dedos, vamos a probarlos. Déjame, les digo cómo están. Como le dije, está para chuparse los dedos. Muy ricos. Están muy ricos, se los recomiendo. Se los recomiendo al 100%. Bueno, háganos like, share, subscribe, comment. Síganos en las redes sociales: Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. 
Ahí les vamos a dejar las links abajo. Y pues muchas gracias por ser parte de nuestra familia. Si son nuevos, hay que subscribe. Chao.